Thank you for your purchase of a uHarvest data management system. This video is going to demonstrate how to set up a uHarvest system from a virtual terminal display. If you have not done so, please go to uHarvest.net and under the registration tab, please register your uHarvest system. This will allow you to get notifications when there are software updates or any service bulletins. First, make sure you have read the manual and the uHarvest components are properly connected. Once you have verified that all the components are connected correctly, we can proceed to turn the power on to the tractor and the processor. uHarvest Lite may come up first while the processor is booting up. Once the processor boots up, the uHarvest main home page will come up. You are now ready to set up uHarvest. Please press the setup button. Click on the cart setup button. You can enter the gain value. The gain value will be between 0.75 and 1.75. The gain value is the rated output of the cart's load cells. This information can typically be found on a sticker on the load cell. If the gain is not known, enter a value of 1.5. I will enter 1.5. The capacity is the rated capacity of the grain cart in pounds. I will enter 72,800 for a 1,300 bushel grain cart. The cow number for your particular cart can be found in the appendix of the U-Harvest manual. This will just be a starting calibration number, so the scale will need to be calibrated. Please see the U-Harvest VT operation video on how to calibrate. I will enter 40,000. The total number of load cells reflects the amount of load cells on the cart. I will enter 5. You can also change the scale weight intervals here. Have some different options, but the lower the number will make the scale more sensitive, and the higher the number, it will filter out some of that sensitivity. I will pick 50 pounds. If the grain cart is set up with AccuLoad, you can set up the numbers for that at the bottom of this page. Please refer to the operator's manual for setting up AccuLoad. If you would like to change from pounds to kilograms, you will need to go to your virtual terminal settings and change your VT to metric. We can hit the green check mark now because we are finished in the cart setup page. Now you can click on the database manager setup. Once here, you can add trucks, destinations, and varieties. If you want to add a truck, click on the new truck in the truck setup name box. A pop-up appears asking for the truck name. You can enter any information you need to describe your trucks, but it's best to use letters and numbers and not symbols. Once you type in the name of the truck, you can hit enter or OK. One important note that if you are using AccuLoad, you must enter a capacity for the truck. So just click on the capacity box with the truck name you just entered and enter the capacity for the truck. Then you can click add to add that truck to the listing. If you want to add a destination, click on new destination in the destination setup name box. A pop-up appears asking for the destination name. You can enter any information you need to describe your destinations, but it's best to use letters and numbers and not symbols. Once you type in the name of the destination, you can hit enter or OK. Then you can click add to add that destination to the listing. If you want to add a new variety, click on new variety in the variety setup name box. A pop-up appears asking for the variety name. You can enter any information you need to describe your varieties, but it's best to use letters and numbers and not symbols. Once you type in the name of the variety, you can hit enter or OK. Then you can click add to add that variety to the listing. Once you have entered all your trucks, truck capacities, destinations, and varieties, you can click on the green check mark to exit. Here you can turn on manual load logging. uHarvest does use a sensor on the drive shaft to tell the system when you are unloading and when you stop unloading to save a load. If something would happen to the sensor where it doesn't detect the PTO is running, the manual load logging will allow the operator to manually tell the system when the cart is unloading and when the cart is done unloading in order to record the load event until the sensor can be checked out. To enable manual load logging feature, 
just place a check mark in the box. You can also calibrate the scale and moisture sensor from the setup page. Please see the U-Harvest VT operations video on how to calibrate the scale and moisture sensor. We're now done with this portion of the setup and you can click on the house in the upper right hand corner to go back to the home screen. We can now enter our growers, farms, and fields. Click on the start new job button. Here is where we can enter our growers, farms, and fields. The way the system works is that a tablet can have unlimited amount of growers, farms, and fields in any combination. But using a virtual terminal, you will need to structure them so that there are no more than 30 growers, no more than 30 farms underneath one particular grower, and no more than 30 fields underneath one particular farm. So to add a grower, click on the blue plus sign next to the grower a pop-up appears asking for the grower name. You can enter any information you need to describe your growers, but it's best to use letters and numbers and not symbols. Once you type in the name of the grower, you can hit enter or OK. Now you can add a farm to that grower you just entered. Click on the blue plus sign beside the farm name. A pop-up appears asking for the farm name. You can enter any information you need to describe your farms, but again, it's best to use letters and numbers and not symbols. Once you type in the name of the farm, you can hit enter or OK. Now you can add a field to that farm you just entered. Click on the blue plus side beside the field name. A pop-up appears asking for the field name. You can enter any information you need to describe your fields, but again, it's best to use letters and numbers and not symbols. Once you type in the name of the field, you can hit enter or OK. Once you have entered all your growers, farms, and fields, you can hit the red X to exit this screen. You are now set up to run U-Harvest data management system from a virtual terminal display. If you would like to run U-Harvest from a tablet, please see U-Harvest tablet connection and setup video. Please see U-Harvest VT operation video to see how easy it is to run U-Harvest from a virtual terminal display.